All right, this one's going to be on uh, DJ Mount. It is a way to mount your UPnP or DLNA media server. So last time we talked about was mini DLNA, and in there I showed you how to use, um, you know, your Linux machine and an Android client to connect or stream your music videos and uh, pictures from there. If you missed that video, I'll post you in the description, right? But basically what we did uh, in that video was... Uh, we set up our Linux desktop to stream movies, pictures, and music to either an Android device, uh, you know, any kind of uh, computer devices that uh, has a DLNA client or UPnP client. So this applies to tablets, uh, smartphones, you know, um, laptops, or whatever computer you have. However, I didn't show you how to use a uh, Linux client, so that's what I'm going to show you now. A Linux client that can uh, receive it too. So I'm going to use DJ Mount and we'll call, well, give me the man page here. So DJ Mount is Mounting Network Media Servers. That's what it does. And this one supports uh, Universal Plug and Play, aka UPnP. Although, um, and also um, DLNA. Okay, so my server is running DLNA. So we're going to do that right now here. Okay pretty easy to use so right now we're in a home folder and we're just going to create a new empty folder okay because you need an empty folder to mount this to so we're going to do mkdir and we'll call this um, I don't know call it my media my media right that's it we made it a new folder so you can see that we made it a new folder here my media and now we're going to mount that here using DJ mount and since my uh, DLNA uh, server doesn't require any password, doesn't require anything, uh, you just need a client to uh, receive it, right? So we're going to do a DJ mount, and then my server, the folder that we just created. And there you go, it says successful. And now when you list it out, we'll list out my media. You can see that it has the uh, God bless you server here that we had last time, right? Um, you know what? We're going to go in there, my media. And we're going to use our command line um, file manager, ranger. And here, we're going to do, and now you can browse your server from here, right? So let's say if I go to videos, and we'll do folders, hopefully. There you go, we have some stuff. And remember that Intel uh, video I showed you last time? You can do it in here. And there you go, it plays it off the sound there but you see it plays it right here no no issues right um, let's go with something else so you can access you know your videos your um, music or pictures in here if you want to see you have pictures in here I think so uh, yeah we have some Naruto stuff uh, let's open this let's see what we have oh it's gonna wait up my hard drive is loading but it should open it. There you go. And there you go, the Naruto pictures. Right. Uh, let's try some other ones. There you go. Right. So that's how you do pictures. And what else is there? Music. Let's go to music. Um, let's see here. The albums. Let's go to albums. And this thing is loading. So we'll wait for it to load. And there we go, we have music in here. We got some Slain Dion stuff. Hey, listen to music using M player. You don't have to do this by the command line, but I mean, if you're gonna use the command line, you can use Ranger to browse this as your file manager. Or, if you wanna use the GUI, just open up your, um, what is that, uh, you know, your file manager here, your GUI file manager. And you see right here in the side, right, it says My Media, the one that we mounted. And you can click on here too if you want to do it that way. Not a big issue. It's the same shit, right? And you have the Intel trailer that we did. And you can click on it and it plays it. So you can do it from the command line, the GUI. The good thing about this is that you can use your existing media player or music player. Um, and you don't have to like, you know, get XPMC or something like that, which uh, a lot of people use to use their, uh, you know, UPnP or DLNA client. But you don't need to do that if you just mount it from the command line. Uh, now, the one one thing problem with this is that 
if you're using the GUI, right, and you want it unmounted, you can't. Look, if I click on this thing right here, I try to unmount it, I can't do that. You see, it's still mounted. Uh, the only way to unmount this is from the command line also, so I'll show you how to do that here. So let's go back to our home folder. Uh, so if you want to unmount this, you just type in F. I think it's F user, but I think it's just fuse R mount. Right, uh, fuse R mount. Well, I don't know how you say that whole thing, but fuse R mount. There you go. Uh, dash uh, U for unmount. Right. And then the folder that you want to unmount, which is called My Media. There's that home folder slash My Media. There you go. And there you go. It's not mounted anymore and it's gone. Right. So that's how you unmount it and mount it. So if you want to mount it again, you do DJ mount and then My Media. And there we go, we're back into our folder again. All right. Let's see here. Where's our folder? There you go. And mounted, and then you want to unmount it, you just do that. Pretty simple. Uh, so that's how you use DJ mount to connect to your um, UPnP or DLNA media server uh, from your Linux machine. Okay. That'll be it for this one. DJ mount should be in your repositories. I'm not sure if it's on every opera uh every distro's repository, but should be. Alright.